Look at that guy. That guy was the one. It's just, it's a popular opinion. That's all I'm saying. Popular opinion. Maybe it should have been Gustav. I don't know. Australia gave him a lot of points. Gustav, dark horse, legend. Absolute legend. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Uh, and I know a lot of you are converts to Voyager because of Eurovision, and I welcome you here tonight. And a lot of you, for a lot of you, it's your first uh, metal show. And I know it can be a daunting and intimidating experience, because I went to my first metal show hiding in the toilets when I was 17 at the White Sands Hotel in Perth. And I came out and was like... <laughs> but you know what? We want to welcome, to all those who haven't been to a metal show, we want to welcome you to the heavy music community. It's a wonderful community. And heavy music makes you feel shit that you might have not felt before. And if you feel like punching a wall, go listen to some, I don't know, Car Bomb or Cannibal Corpse instead, because it will make you feel better. And they do say that people who listen to heavy music have an, uh, a slightly higher than average IQ. Yeah. But you can, Baron's, uh, You've got that anyway, right? <laughs> I promise, I promise that there will be no public service jokes, there will be no GST jokes, or any of the sort tonight. Um, but I do want to thank the, uh, the West Australian government, it's a weird thing to, to thank, but you know, Eurovision is a, is a crazy, crazy expensive experience, and uh, some countries' broadcasters pay for everything, um, some are less fortunate than others. Um, and we rely on uh, amazing support from the Australia Council. I think there's a couple of people from the Australia Council here today. Yes. From the West Australia Government for funding for contemporary music. Now, that is incredible because we live in a wonderful place where it's possible to, to fill out a form and then the government gives you money for playing metal at Eurovision. Now, I'm not really into fighter jets. I think that spending money on, on, cre on creative arts and those kinds of peripheral industries is much more important than that. So, thank you, Australian government, for giving us money to be able to explode things on stage. Okay? Instead. Instead of, in, yeah, instead of, instead of belligerent warlike uh, preparation activities, yes. <laughs> What? What about logitech controllers for submarines? <laughs> what about logitech controllers for submarines? I'm not going to answer that question. I'll take that fuck right away from that. Uh, we just played a song called Submarine, okay? And we didn't mention anything, alright? Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> but I seriously thank you, it's such a pleasure, and um, at the end of the day, we are still a heavy band. We're still a, uh, yes. I guess we're a metal band. Is, you know, whatever you call it, we're a sequin clad metal band now. I don't know what the fuck with that. Eurovision changed us, man. It's like, yeah. you know. But we're still the same. And at the end of the day, we still love playing heavy music. We're